two ways that my life has changed here in Belarus as compared to Australia. The first one is that there's no safety net, right? You can't, if you had to, I've never been on unemployment benefits, but if you had to, it's not there, right? If you need to get a job, you can't get a job here. We need a job paying $100 a week. What's the point of that, right? Um, there's no, you have to be planned. You have to be organized. You have to have money. You have to have assets. You have to have income online, multiple streams. Cause stuff happens. Since I've been here, I lost an online job from Australia and I had a, a channel, YouTube channel with 80,000 subscribers deleted, right? So I have to, okay, now I need alternate sources, right? And I can't just go get a job. I can't move in with my parents to save money or anything like this. These options aren't open to you. You're on your own here. So you need to be organized. You need to be planned. If you come to Belarus, you can't rock up with five grand, right? You got to have a good income, good asset base. You have to be organized. Yeah, you have to be a grown up. So this is a very big thing. Now, and I see a lot of younger guys struggle with this and end up going home and blah, 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 blah. It's quite unfortunate uh, to see this. But again, you have to think years ahead. You're not thinking weeks or months ahead. You're thinking years ahead. What's my income and assets going to be in two years' time? Where can this project lead? What's the lifetime earnings from this project? What else can I do online? Then you can start thinking about maybe some side hustles in and around uh, Belarus. You've got to be careful of that because of taxation and working out where you want to be a tax resident. Um, if you do have only passive income, of course, Belarus can be very good. <clears throat> You'll probably have a lot lower tax, but if you're getting employment uh, income, the tax rates are very high because of the social security uh, levy. This is a big thing. You must really plan ahead and think ahead if you're going to live here. I'm surprised at the number of guys, especially younger guys, who think that the wages are the same here, right? Or at least kind of in line with the prices. No, 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 no. The wages are about a tenth of what they are in the West, right? One tenth, 10%, right? So you can't just get a job here. Unless you're in programming, that's different. If you're a programmist, <clears throat> that can be different. You maybe get a job here and, and do well. But if you want to be a university lecturer, it's 500 bucks a month. What are you going to do with that? My rent's 400. <laughs> what am I going to do with that? So I'm going to be a grown-up, plan ahead, have business income, so on and so forth. Second big thing is I rarely speak fluent English. I have to either speak my broken Russian or I need to speak broken English, slow English. And every conversation I have, rather than just flowing and talking and vibing and chatting, I can't do that. Unless I'm with like a couple of guys from Australia or America or whatever. These guys I can, of course, but uh, other foreigners who don't have English as their first language or all the Belarusians I know, I have to slow down, consciously think, okay, analyze them. How good is their English? How, what kind of words should I use? What kind of sentence structure? How simple, how slow? And I've got to adjust. So I'm constantly thinking when I'm talking. It's not like when you're speaking with a native speaker, when you're just going crazy, whatever. You're not even thinking, the words just come out, right? But here it's always a thought process and that's very tiring it's very tiring if you want to have a one or two or three hour conversation with somebody it, it becomes frustrating you know you just want to say really quickly in, in English and you can't you have to slow it down use a translator uh, use words you know they're going to know that aren't actually precise and don't mean what you want to say so these two things that I've just given you these are very inconvenient and they're kind of underrated especially that second point because Having to consciously translate, think, speak in Russian. I mean, of course, your Russian language skills will get much better. Uh, we'll get much, uh, your English skills will get worse. But your, uh, Russian skills will improve uh, rapidly in this environment, of course. But, you know, once you go past that first few minutes of how are you, what's your job, what are you doing today, what did you do yesterday, what do you like to do, blah, 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 blah. Once you get past that kind of functional stuff and it's more like, you know, deeper philosophical stuff, you just haven't got the vocab. Your grammar's all over the shop and you really can't have that nuanced conversation that you need to have, right? You can't just have these surface level conversations all the time. So this is a big factor. You're going to want to have foreign friends here or other English speaking friends. Of course, you might not be English speaking yourself. Um, maybe you're uh, Turkish or maybe you're uh, Chinese or something. There's lots of Turks, lots of Chinese here as well. Um, so you can find them. But again, it, it's wearing. It's wearing. It's not a big drama. You'll deal with it. But it can just kind of wear you every now and then where you're about to have a conversation. You're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. 
we'll just sit here, <laughs> stare at the wall. It's much easier. So you do have this every now and then, you know, rather than having this subconscious flow of conversation. So that's two things to keep in mind. These are certainly two different ways that my life has changed now that I'm here. Two things that you should keep in mind uh, before you come to a country such as Belarus. If you enjoyed this video, I've got lots more about life in Belarus behind closed doors here. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing to my channel as well.